Hey everybody, welcome back to the Whiteboard Workshop, episode number 19, our last teenage Whiteboard Workshop. It's a very special day for us. Uh, today we're going to talk about three reasons why you should work on two shows, at least, at once. Why you should have two projects going at the same time always. Uh, Cy Coleman once said, you have to plant a lot of seeds in this business because you never know which one's going to sprout. That's the theory behind today's Whiteboard Workshop, why we work on at least two shows at once. Number one, the first reason why we're going to work on more than one show is you can't control this biz. Big generalization, but it's true. The theater is unlike any other art form there is. It's very collaborative, right? If you're a writer, you need a producer, you need a director, you need actors. If you're a producer, you need theater availability, you need a director, you need all those things. We need lots of people in order to make things, things, these things happen. And often we can't control when people are going to be available, when a theater is going to be available, right? So I find that when one stalls, through something you can't control, it's best to have another project to focus your energy and your passion on, right? You can shift back and forth. And I often say that my projects, and I work on about three to five at once, it's like a horse race, right? One gallops ahead and you think that one's gonna win and get to the finish line, and all of a sudden, here comes another one from behind. Like, it happens constantly. There's this battle for jockeying for first position among your products uh, and projects. If you're only working on one, you're relying on that one. And if it falls behind, then what, right? You want to have something else to turn to. Okay, number two, people may not like your first project. So imagine this, you do a reading of a show, right? You get producers there, investors there, agents, etc. And let's say you get a meeting with one of them and you're ready to pitch, you're pitching that first project and you're like, here it is and this and that. And the person stops you and says, you know what? I think you're very talented, but I don't like that show. That show's not for me. Nothing against it, it's not for me. What else you got? If you don't have a second project, you're gonna have that bit of awkward silence. You saw me just staring at the camera. What else you got? I got a show about X, Y, and Z. I've got another product. You wanna be able to rattle off a few different ideas until you find something that jives with that person. Because let's face it, producers, agents, artistic directors, we all have our own sensibilities, right? We, we get fall in love with projects that suit our tastes, right? You want to have something that may suit lots of people's tastes. So work on a second project at least, uh, so you can have something to deliver no matter what uh, they want, okay? And third, and this could be the most important, you get better. The more shows you work on, the more practice you get, the more different styles you work on, whether that's producing, writing, directing, etc. you just get better by doing it more often. Uh, there was this great study of uh, photography students. You can read about this book, uh, read about this in the book Atomic Habits, where they challenged two groups. One, to focus on one photograph at the end of the semester. Just one. Turn in one photo. You're going to be judged on the quality of that one. And then the other half of the students, they said, you're going to be judged on the quantity. Take as many photos as you want. Turn in as many. The quantity. You win by producing the most. You know who produced the actual best? Photographs, the ones focused on the quantity. Because they experimented more, they tried different things, and they produced actually a better set of photographs than the folks focusing on just one, who were just going after the perfect image. It's not about the search for perfect stuff. It's about doing lots of stuff so you can get better and better and better. That's the third reason why you should work on more than one project at the same time. So if you're only working on one today, come up with an idea for something else. Start working on that, maybe even a third. This has been this week's Whiteboard Workshop. We'll see you on the next one.